otherwise I'll just be sort of, um, you know, I, I think I'd burn myself out because I mean, I'd just get wrapped up in all that. And it's so easy to do because it's like the, the pull was there, you know what I mean? You just had to sort of hang on and wham, and then it's too late. Mm -hmm. And then all kinds of things can happen, problems can rise and drawbacks. Because I mean, the moment you get that, you suddenly become, you can be in, you know, it was very easy for me at one time, and even now, to actually become a solo artist and all that, because I mean, the, the draw was there. You know, you get a lot of people in the media always trying to sort of say, why don't you go solo and this and that. I mean, it happened. And I was, I think I've done very well in in maintaining that I still, I still want to sort of my, and I, I, I'm very happy with Queen, and therefore I don't need to sort of, um, you know, give my ego a boost by suddenly sort of leaving them and becoming a, becoming solo. It's a very sort of um, tempting mm. um, area, and um, but for me, I think um, this is enough, and um, I'm quite happy. Mm. Why kill? You know, why kill the goose that lays the golden egg, uh, sure. as it were? Mm. It's just something. Mm. It's just, you know, I think a lot of people tend to do that. In fact, I mean, there's a certain amount of loyalty as well, which I think is, and I quite, I, I wouldn't like, it would be more, I mean, I'm quite sort of, um, I'd be uh, more hurt if I, because I feel I'm, I feel loyalty towards the band, and I'd hate to sort of let them down. Mm. And that to me is sort of quite a, it's a high price to sort of pay for, I mean, you know, like, to suddenly go on. I wouldn't like to sort of feel that I'm sort of letting them down. I'm into going out and getting out of my brains on alcohol and having a good time. That's the issue I'm, I'm worried about. After 12 years of being together, we're bored to death with each other, to be honest, and uh, we want to do something um, other than um, just Queen, Queen, Queen. I mean, I'd, I mean, I like Queen. <clears throat> I like Queen very much, but I mean, I don't want to end up like living a quartet, you know? It's just, um, I'm 37 years old, and I want to do something different, and it's about time I did, otherwise I'll get too damn old and I'll be in a wheelchair. It's the music that brings us together and that's something that we have, after 12 years, it's instinctive mm -hmm. and um, you don't have to worry about any kinds of um, bad temperament or whatever. I mean, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's on, off stage. Once we're on stage, it gels and um, that's called being professional, I guess. What do you think has kept the band together and so, so intact with the same personnel Money. for so many years? <laughs> that doesn't seem to be the motivating force with many other bands. Oh, we love the money. <laughs> if they say they don't like the money, they, they're talking out of their ass, to be honest. They really are. <laughs> money is part of it, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the other thing is also after, no, to be honest, to be on a serious note, um, well, we just want to make, you know, we want to make our music. And um, just because you made, uh, you made lots of money and you're successful doesn't mean you've got to, you know, that's enough. It, it's... This is the hardest time for us. This is, the, this is a, a big test. I mean, we've been in the business 12 years and our records still sell. And, we're, and to keep it going that much further is hard. I certainly don't want to give up now. I have nothing else to do.